one of the great titans in Major League Baseball history, fell today. Frank Robinson, a first ballot Hall of Fame player who became the first African-American manager in baseball, died Thursday at the age of 83. Uh, I'm reading from a USC Today article uh, co-written by Bob Nightingale and Steve Gardner. Put a link to the article in the description box. Robinson, who had been in hospice in Southern California for several months, was able to say farewell to many of his friends and family before his death. Few men have had a greater impact as a player, a manager, and an executive in Robinson, who was so revered and respected that three different franchises retired his uniform number, number 20, and erected statues in his honor. Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manf Manfred uh, said in a statement today that, quote, Frank Robinson's resume in our game is without parallel, a trailblazer in every sense whose impact spanned generations. He was one of the greatest players in the history of our game, but that was just the beginning of a multifaceted baseball career. Known for a fierce competitive will, Frank made history as the first MVP of both the National and American Leagues. Earned a 1966 American League Triple Crown and World Series MVP honors and was a centerpiece of two World Championship Baltimore Oriole teams. Robinson, a 14-time All-Star, had a legendary career. He was a Rookie of the Year in 1956 when he hit a rookie record at the time, 38 home runs for the Cincinnati Reds. Won a Triple Crown in 1966 with the Baltimore Orioles. And remains the only player to win an MVP award in each league with the Reds in 1961 and the Orioles in 1966. He also led his teams to two World Series titles, winning with the Orioles in 1966 when he also was voted the World Series MVP in 1970. During his 21-year career in the major leagues, Frank Robinson hit 586 home runs. When he retired in 1976, his 586 home runs were the fourth highest total in history behind only Hank Aaron, who retired the same year with 755 home runs, Babe Ruth with 714, and Willie Mays with 660. The longest of those home runs came on May 8th, 1966, when his 541-foot blast off Louis Taunt cleared Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. Robinson said in an interview just five years ago, we were facing Louis Taunt and he had thrown three straight shutouts. I had never seen him before. The first pitch was a fastball down and in and I hit it. You know when you get one. I, I don't know how far, but you know you got it. When I came to the dugout, the guys were saying the ball went completely out of the ballpark. I said, get out of my face. No way. They said, yes, it did. When I went out to the right field, the fans gave me a stand ovation. I thought maybe it did go out. Uh, Robinson would continue to influence the game long after retirement, becoming the first African-American to manage in the major leagues with the Cleveland Indians. He also managed the San Francisco Giants becoming the National League's first African-American manager, and later managed the Orioles, Montreal Expos, and Washington Nationals. He compiled a 1,065 and 1,176 record over parts of 16 seasons. Eventually winning the 1989 AL Manager of the Year Award with the Orioles. In Washington, Robinson said one of his players asked him in 2005 whether he had played in the major leagues. It was then he said he realized just how little attention players today paid to baseball history. Uh, Robinson was the youngest of 10 children raised in Oakland, California. And he was a former uh, high school basketball teammate with NBA Hall of Famer Bill Russell at McClemens High School and also a former baseball teammate with former major leaguers Bader Pinson and Kurt Flood. Robinson was very active in the civil rights movement in Baltimore after witnessing the city's segregated housing and discriminatory 
uh, real estate practices. And in 2005, was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George W. Bush. He was honored two years later with the first Jackie Robinson Society Community Recognition Award at George Washington uh, University. He spent the last 12 years of his life working for the commissioner's office, mostly as a vice president, and later as a senior advisor to Commissioner uh, Rob Manfred. Frank Robinson, dead at the age of 83.